Sophia YouTube channel. Now today we're going to be talking about one of our economics standards in 6th grade social studies in Georgia. This standard asks, why does international trade, trade between different countries, why does that require a system for exchanging currencies? Now the word currency is just a fancy word for money. Money, that's it. Good job, okay? Currency is just a fancy word for the money that a country uses, okay? So if you've got two different countries trading, that's international trade, when trade happens between different countries, they need to have a system for figuring out how much this country's currency equals in this country's currency. So what I mean by that is if your country uses the dollar and the country you want to trade with uses the euro or the peso or who knows what, something else, you've got to figure out how many dollars equals a euro or how many euros equals a dollar. You've got to figure that out because when you buy and sell between each other, you want to make sure everybody's getting a good deal or getting what they paid for or whatever. So, really cool thing I'm going to show you, okay? If you go to Google, if you go to Google and you ask, how much, much is one dollar in, see there it is, in euros? Enter. Alright, at this moment, one US dollar would get you 0.7776 euros. The cool thing about this is at a nearly, at a, like daily, this number could change. It's kind of like the stock market. One day, euros might be worth more. Another day, dollars might be worth more. When I went to Europe in 2002, you could get, for one dollar, you could get 1.5 euros. Okay? Now, it's a little bit different. Okay? You can't get 1.5 euros for a dollar anymore. Inflation and just crazy stuff just changes those daily. So right now, if you were to go to a country in Europe that uses the euro, France, Germany, Italy, Spain, any of these countries that use the euro, countries that are in the European Union, then that's how much you would get for your dollar. So one day you could exchange your money, and then the next day exchange it back. You might not get the same rate. It just depends. Um, you could do this with any currency. Um, you could also do it with the British pound. The UK has decided to keep their money. They don't use the euro even though they're part of the European Union. So British pounds, so if you were to go to the UK right now and exchange your dollar, you would get 0.62 British pounds, whatever that looks like. And so this is really cool. You can figure it out at any moment. Just type it in and Google it. Quick fun fact, okay? The US penny costs more than a penny to create that each penny costs three cents to produce. So there's your fun fact for the day. I hope this helps. Obviously, you know, you might not be exchanging things internationally, but if you ever go to another country, you've got to exchange your money if you want to buy anything. So maybe you've done that before. Maybe you've had that experience. But that's all I've got for you today. I hope that this has been an enjoyable experience. And come back anytime.